wicked, wicked, wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? I've never watched someone do more dumb shit than that dude. Like, fuck, he set the, set the record for all time stupidest shit done in a gym. Like, and I've seen some fucking dumb shit in gyms. Like, and the best part about it is that some people that like, do dumb shit in gyms, they actually think that they're doing something. Like, they've convinced themselves, like, this is a very efficient workout that I'm doing. Like, you should ask me about it and learn about it. So I'm going to show a variation of a dumbbell press. Someone asked me about this the other day, and it just, like, got me thinking because I haven't done it in a while. It's kind of like a corkscrew press so that we're going to flat press. Might as well explain it with nothing in my hand. Yeah, so I'm going to go back with the dumbbells, and I'm going to be here. Just like we normally set up where we're retracted and everything's pulled back. So I'm trying to sink my shoulders below the bench and lock my back in. That's the starting position. It's nothing to do with like the level I'm holding my dumbbells or how close they are to me. It's like, is, are my shoulders retracted? Is my hand and dumbbell flat? That's where I'm pressing from, not here. Wherever I can hold into this rib cage and lock into lat, this is where I'm pressing from, flat, straight out. It doesn't change, it's flat the whole time. So I'm keeping rib cage up and open. But on this, we're gonna torque, so I'm gonna drive up and I'm gonna tuck elbows in when I press, so I'm gonna be driving up through. It's almost like a corkscrew press, so I fall the same and I roll through my press. So I'm grabbing that pec and I'm rocking up through my press. Just to get a little added, like a little added contraction. On dumbbells, it's hard. It's hard to get like that squeeze on dumbbells because obviously a lot of people press them straight. If you articulate your wrist or rotate your wrist like that, you'll notice you'll get a lot of a lot of like a lot of lower pec squeeze, and a lot of like almost grabbing of the outside of the pec. It almost feels like it's cinching in, like you're scooping it kind of. So, just a, something for people to play with. Not necessarily probably going to do your heaviest weight on that, nor should you, because you're trying to really move in a certain type of manner. So, and plus you're not going to have the dexterity or the range of movement they be able to articulate the dumbbell, the bigger the thing gets. Like, I can't do that with 120. Nor could I, but if I could, I was strong enough and I wasn't a bitch. <laughs> I was fucking be able to do that. If I didn't have a bitch right shoulder that didn't like me. Yeah, I mean, you could try it. It might be cool to see, but I don't think it's going to go very well. So I feel weight on my palm and I'm set back in my shoulders, but chest up. So when I go to move here, I'm rolling through. So it's more of a, of a flex than it is a press. So I'm mul I can even roll through with hands open. I don't want to, but that's how flat my palm is. But I'm scooping rib cage up. I'm settling into that spot again, and I'm moving through the dumbbell. Dry. Keep it stuck. So shoulders are tucked down. So you don't press from up here, you press from down here. Roll through lats to press. So stay beside that pec and roll up through the side of that pec. A lot of you guys with shoulder problems or shoulder issues, it's a good alternative for you because the more that, I, the more that I'm, I'm always trying to get people to understand this, where my shoulders are depressing and my head's rocking back, so even there still, it's a little bit of impingement because my shoulder can still play a part, right? Whereas here, this is more of a neutral grip without staying in neutral grip. So we're getting the stretch at the bottom and then we're moving to neutral. So I'm forcing that elbow in and that shoulder down even tighter to my body. So if I'm tucking in here, I'm here. So I'm pushing out through. So this shoulder's stuck down and I'm really pushing out with palm. And I'm, long, I'm elongated in a strong position. I'm not open in this flared position or open position, I'm here. So I'm able to grab more pec and I'm able to be stable on my shoulder, right? It just won't feel as good if you start, if you start neutral, like, let me show you so it doesn't look stupid. If you start neutral, you're gonna roll forward naturally. You're not gonna, it's not gonna feel that good, right? So if I start neutral here and I just press from here, I already feel like my shoulders are being pulled forward. 
like pressure on my front delt. Whereas if I'm here, I can relax them down and then I can get past that sticking point and roll through my press. You know what I mean? So I, I'm missing this, this three to four inches and then I'm scooping my pec in that neutral grip, which is the lockout I want, right? So I'm pinning down more. So force yourself into the bench, roll those palms in. You might get to the point where you're able to like literally rotate in even more to cinch grab even more chest, but that's just gonna depend on your flexibility and shoulder dexterity, which is lacking in me since I have advanced osteoarthritis. <laughs> Diverging and converging presses like this that usually start out way too way too wide. Like who the who the fuck is this wide? To press like that, do you know what I mean? It's a hard position to be in. So if you creep in tight, and again, you think that it's elbow flexion that's holding my weight there, not shoulders back and like up and tall. So I'm more into my elbows here. So they're bent back like my tricep extension type thing. So I'm rocking out of that elbow compression and locking out. So I'm breaking elbow again to catch here. So those shoulders roll back and I'm up through. Don't think it's like opening and closing. It's not shoulders back, sh push hands out, right? It's like my shoulders stay where they are. And I just collapse elbow, catch on hand and push through. Up through things. That's the problem of making a mistake on like all these vertical seated presses. They all start way too wide. They all think I have to push wide. It's like, no, just find your spot and be dug into your book forearm touching bicep and drive through that and catching that again pull through that. Just like a dip, pretty much. How you lean into a dip and then you rock up through a dip. The tension is in the forearm and the bicep pinched in the back, back together. And I move myself up through my dip. It's the same thing here. Movement is movement across all planes, right? Not certain things you have to tweak and find your angles or find where you're releasing from. Like this is probably one of the better seated vertical presses. Obviously, because it's fucking made by these guys, so it's, why wouldn't it be the best? <laughs> it's like, I don't know who, I want to fucking meet these people that create this shit. Panada's like, Panada's changing the game. <laughs>